world, could you imagine any place more OK for hound than the very county of Bath? Perhaps that's one of the reasons why they do things in such a big way at the Tangmere Kennels at Binfield in Berkshire. Here, the Borzoi, or Russian Wolfhound, has been reared for the past 25 years. And out on parade are some of the finest prize-winning specimens of the dog with an imperial Russian ancestry. These are noble descendants of the pets of the Tsars, and they certainly look the part, for there's dignity in every line, and an air of, well, really, my dear, in the lofty carriage of the head, and grooming the snobs of dogdom like Champion Dido is a very particular business. Their Lordship's luncheon is being prepared. It consists of raw, lean meat minced up, or a bullock's paunch, with a suite of unpolished rice soaked in stock. Sometimes for a change, biscuit meal is served. The puppies get their first meat when they're three weeks old, and the ration is increased until at nine months they consume a pound a day. The diet is further varied with fish, raw minced carrots, onions, lettuce and spinach, and the broth of nettles. And if they're unlucky, they get plenty of cod liver oil as well. Like greyhounds, Borzoi are built for speed, and they've chased the hare at several northern meetings with great success. In the good old Borzoi days, they chased the wolf, and even now they can keep the wolf from the door quite easily, for they fetch extremely good prices. In Canada today, packs of them are kept for hunting the coyote, and in South Africa, the jackal. If you want to wire these wire-haired fellows, their telegraphic address too is Tangmere. The children are perfect little terriers, and they don't care a yap about anti-litter.